Now let's take some time to talk about how to orient your hinge axis when you're dealing with folding propellers in VSP. So let's zoom in again at the root of this example propeller and notice that the hinge axis right now is exactly vertical. So that's under the assumption that if you want to fold these and you don't want it to be very complex, very similar to something like a folding RC propeller, it's just going to have a 90 degree hinge and whenever it folds back, it's just going to fold about that hinge. Uh, it's not very complex. It's a very simple mechanism. If you want it to do something a bit more tricky, you have access to the azimuth and the elevation of this axis. So I'll demonstrate here exactly what's going on. Let's jump to a left view so we can see this axis from the side. The azimuth is an angle setting. And as you move it around, you'll see that with the direction of rotation specified like this, according to the right hand rule, the direction that this axis is pointing is down. So right now what we've done is we've added 43.6 degrees of azimuth from here to here. Now that's one angle. The next angle that's going to change the position is the elevation. And the elevation is determined by a vertical angle from the current azimuthal position, and it's going to rotate it upward out of plane. So anybody that's familiar with, say, star tracking or pointing in the sky understands that how azimuth and elevation work. But if you look, it's going to rotate about this point, and this curve is going to rotate up. So as we give this some positive elevation, what's happening is we've given it azimuth to here and then elevation to here. So you're able to position this axis using these two parameters relatively easily. But if you happen to have a known vector direction, you need to be able to convert that from the vector coordinates to azimuth and elevation. And accomplishing that isn't very hard. Uh, you just have to do a little bit of math and calculate it. In fact, you could go ahead and write up an advanced link that does it on the fly, and you can set up user parameters to where you specify, say, an A, B, and C direction. But that's kind of beyond the scope of the point of this introduction to the azimuth and elevation folding directions. At least now you understand how the azimuth and elevation are implemented in your folding axis. And now you can see that let's give this, let's say 30 degrees of azimuth and 15 degrees of elevation. Watch what happens when we start to fold this now. Remember that when this was a fully vertical hinge, it folded everything straight back. But if we give it some positive fold at this point to say 90 degrees, see what happens. Not only are we folding them back, but we're folding about a different axis. So we're not pointing directly F. We have folded 90 degrees about this hinge line. So you have to be very specific about how you implement azimuth and elevation and folding angle around this axis in OpenVSP because your initial and final configuration may not be exactly what you want it to be unless you do some pretty heavy math.